I'm so sorry if I'm not wearing any makeup right now, but welcome back to my channel. I'm still wearing the same shirt. Oh no, wearing the same shirt and the same anorak. Yeah, I'm still wearing the same outfit because I'm filming on the same day. Okay. okay, so in this video, I am going to be answering all the frequently asked questions and then a truck decided to pass by. So about a year and a half ago or sometime back in the day, I posted a video about how I rebond my hair at home and wow, I really didn't think that a lot of people will be watching it and I'm really happy because a lot of you were inspired to do the same thing that I did although I just would like to clear this up I'm not a hair professional I am in no way reliable <laughs> when it comes to stuff like this it's just that I just wanted to share with you guys what I did with my hair and this is how it worked okay number one question that I get a lot out of that video is Okay, ang tanong nila, is it phone ah, call? Is it okay to rebind your hair after you have colored it or dyed it blonde or whatever? I would say no. Okay? Uh, I did that uh, I, I think last year I ombre my hair, I bleached half of my hair and then I decided to dye it back to black and then I decided to rebond it. And the result was yung dulo ng hair ko because it was uh, bleached and then after ko siyang i-rebond ang nangyari para siyang naging pubic hair that was probably one of the reasons why I decided to chop off my hair because it was so dead and crispy and dry question number two I would like to have my hair rebonded and colored at the same time I believe that there are salons out there who offers that kind of uh, who offers that kind of service I think they have a uh, technology that does that that it rebonds your hair and dyes it or colors it at the same time I'm not sure you can go to your nearby salon like like, like blah, blah. like let's say for example uh, David salon or Validosa or uh, any salons that you think are you know reliable you can just ask a hair stylist there who knows a lot about these things? Question number three. Let's say for example, I dyed my hair like three, four months ago. Is it okay to have it rebonded? Okay, so I w this is just my theory. This is how it worked for me, okay? So I would suggest that you wait for about four to six months before you have your hair rebonded. Now, let's say for example, hanggang dito na yung, ito yung black, ito yung may kulay. So, i re mo siya. So, syempre, it will be straight and then you will see that line of demarcation between the natural color of your hair and the dyed hair. Okay, so what you would do, let's say for example, you had it rebonded, wait for about a month or two and then have it dyed jet black. So, it's always safe to have your hair rebonded first wait for two to three months before having it dyed okay you dye it back to black or you color your hair to brown but I will never ever suggest that after rebonding your hair you are going to bleach it no 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 that's bad for your hair and apparently apparently there are other subscribers there are other subscribers in the world who watches my videos and some of them who are from the states or some we're from Dubai. They were asking me if the hair product is available online or is it available in their country. Um, okay, the thing is, I'm really not sure. I haven't tried buying it online because it's only available here in the Philippines. And where do I get it here in the Philippines? I get it from Watson's. I get it. Um, it's also available at Landmark. It's also available at Mercury Mer 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 it's also available at Mercury Drug how much is it how much is it it is around 380 pesos per box but um, if you're gonna go back to the video that I posted a, a while back the length of my hair was like it's like here like up my boobies um, I used about a box and a half to two boxes I believe if I can remember it right just to 
you know, para magkasya siya sa buong buho ko kasi ang kapal-kapal sobra ng buho ko. Okay. Alright, so pros and cons of having your hair rebonded. Number one, if you had your hair rebonded, let's say for example, you started with uh, frizzy hair, unruly hair, and if you had it rebonded, it will be a lifesaver because it will save you so much time in the morning, you know, styling it and everything. I also got a question, ano mas maganda magparibanda ako or magpakulay na lang ako? Because I wanted to have a makeover. It's really up to you. If you want a low maintenance hairstyle, I would suggest that you have your hair rebonded. Because if you do not have time to style it, wala, wala rin mangyayari. Okay, now, paano naman if if you have all the time in the world to style it and you have like the luxury of having hair tools and stuff. So having colored hair is your way to go. So simply lang siya. Kung gusto mo ng low maintenance, magpariban ka. Kung may time ka to style your hair and the dog is really... Pero kung may time ka to style your hair, yes, have your hair dyed, bleached, or colored. I recently dyed my hair. I actually bleached it. I have a video of it. I tried to recreate the balayage highlighting technique. I will be linking the video down below so you can check it out. And what other questions do I still have? Last question, which is better? Do it at home or at a salon? Okay, the number one reason why I don't usually go to the salon is because they would always ruin my hair. Yung mga baklang yon, ingitera. Lagi nila sinisira yung buho ko. Mula sa hairstyle, pati sa kulay. Hindi ko maintindihan ba't nila yung ginagawa. So, because of my bad experiences from hair hair salons, I opted to do it on my own. Para wala ako ibang sisisihin, kundi sarili ko lang. Right? Okay, and... It's way, way more affordable to do it at home than having it done at a salon. But, but it is very, very challenging to do it on your own. As you can see in that video, I've been doing that for, for quite a bit. Madalis ko na siyang ginagawa, kaya madali ko na siyang kabisado ko na if, if, if the product is like, and you know, like three centimeters away. Madali ko siyang maramdaman ko malapit na siya sa scalp or anything. So, kabisado ko na siyang gawin. But, 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 okay. Pero kung hindi ka sanay, hindi mo alam ko pa, if you do not know how to do it, if you're not used to it, and if you do not have someone to help you out, don't do it at home. I'm telling you, you're gonna ruin your hair. Okay, so what you can do is just to save up, go to a trusted hairstylist, and have your hair fixed. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope that you find it useful or sana nasagot ko lahat ng tanong nyo about rebonding your hair at home. If you have any more questions, please leave them as a comment down below and tell me if you want me to do another rebonding at home video, trying out another rebonding product. I would love to do that. I'm just gonna have to look for a guinea pig. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm so sorry if um, my recent, recent, <laughs> my recent videos are more of a new makeup, makeup kind of video. Yeah, wala akong masyado makeup doon. I only have my eyebrows and my lipstick. So, thank you so much guys for watching this video. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, the click, the click button, the subscription, the subscribe button, and yeah, I